Welcome back to the Service Channel training video series. This video will cover how to download and view reporting from Service Channel. This reporting includes being able to download an Excel spreadsheet that has detailed information on each service request that Johnson Controls Fire Protection performs. It is recommended to watch the prior tutorial named Search for Service Requests and View Paperwork to have the necessary knowledge to understand this tutorial. To begin, please click on the work orders link located at the top of the Service Channel homepage. From here, select the filter options to search for your desired service requests and then select apply. The prior tutorial has more detail on all the filter options available and how to use them. Once the search is finished, to download the search results into an Excel spreadsheet, select the download button, click regular reports, Select the second short reports option and then click download. It will take a few moments for Service Channel to process the request. Depending on your internet settings, some form of a file download prompt will appear. Rename the file if you'd like, save it, and then open it. With the file opened in Excel, we can see each row in the spreadsheet contains all the information pertaining to an individual service request. We'll now walk you through each column name and what it means from left to right in the spreadsheet. The created by column will always say ACE, which is the internal system Johnson Controls uses to create service requests. Location name and ID is the site name and account number. State is the state the site is located in. Region is a four digit national account number assigned to the account. District is a three digit identifier for each Johnson Controls office. Work order number is the service request number. PO number will be the purchase order if we've received one. And tracking number is an internal service channel identifier for each service request. The next column named NTE stands for not to exceed, which is not a field used within service channel and will be blank. Call date, call time, and caller include information on who called the service request in and when. Problem code is another field that is not used in Service Channel and will be blank. Problem description will include a brief description of the issue that is keyed in by the agent creating the service request. Please note for most inspections, this problem description field will reference the month the inspection is due, followed by the words created by Autogen. The category column contains the type of service request. Please reference the prior tutorial for the different types of categories. The priority is how urgent the service request is and governs how Johnson Controls prioritizes responding to it. For phone-in service requests, the priority is usually assigned by the agent taking the call. For inspections, the priority by default is listed as low. The status column will contain whether the service request is in progress, completed, open, or canceled. The open status could mean the service request has been scheduled, but has not been completed yet. The trade is the two letter acronym for what type of system the service request is for. Please reference the prior tutorial for more detail. The vendor ID, provider ID, and provider will all list Johnson Controls fire protection. The schedule date and time columns include the day and time the service request is scheduled for, and the workday column as the date of the last time on site. The rest of the columns in the report are not used. Please note the spreadsheet can be sorted or edited in Excel in any way you'd like to best serve your needs. That concludes our demo on how to use the reporting features in Service Channel. Thank you for watching this tutorial.